Hi guys, it's Steph from Ten Paw Thailand here. Um, now, I don't normally do anything about tiny houses or anything about architecture. I am strictly a dog and cat type of gal. But I just wanted to be able to share with the tiny house community this really cool place that I found in Lampang, Thailand. So Lampang is about an hour and a half south of Chiang Mai. We were there, or I was there, and my team was there to do a trap neuter return program at a temple there. So the vet team got to stay in the nice houses at the resort, and I got stuck uh, in this place. So as you can see, it's a really cool little house. It's all hand-hewn wood on the outside. Um, yeah, like the features are just so nice. It's so warm, so inviting, and it fits right into the, the orchard that it sits into. The other houses there was a lot of corrugated, um, very plasticky, very cementy, and it's just, I'm sure they were very nice to stay in, but they were so unappealing uh, in, the, in the natural environment. There was just a river on the side, and just the little wood cabin fits so perfectly. Um, inside, as you can see, like the features, the doors are really nice, but this graphite, I don't know if it's like a cheaper or a version of drywall that fits better in the humid tropical climate, but it was just so unappealing. Um, I don't know if they can paint it to warm it up a little bit, um, but it's just tinny, not very nice. Uh, so again, nice door on the interior. Um, yeah, I love the little daisy accents. Your go-to hot water heater in Thailand, which is great because I actually don't have one at my house, so it was a nice little break to have one. The fake grass on the ground is really cool. And you see just in the bathroom, it's all exposed wood. So as the shower comes through the fake grass, it just drips down onto the wood planks. Um, I talked to the owners of this place, of the resort, and they said, so buying the land and having this cabin built for them, they spent a total of about $5,000 US, which is actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be. But when you think about the, the quality of the wood that they used and the labor and the, the really amazing little bit of land there on an orchard, I guess it's worth it. In Thailand, labor is cheap and you know the, if, if you want to use not such a nice quality wood, you could do, do this a lot, lot cheaper. You can build a bamboo house this size for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, just those planks, it's so pretty. Um, and I think this is something that you DIY tiny housers could put together in a couple of weekends. You guys are amazing. I'm always blown away by your projects. So yeah, so a little, little light on the strapping there. Maybe uh, <laughs> get it a bit tighter next time. But this is the Logan Orchard that it sits in. So really beautiful. I picked a couple Logans right off and had those for breakfast. Yes, yeah, so you can see they, they skipped the wood panel here, the, the hand-hewed wood, and just went right for that. I don't even know what it's called. I'm sure you guys know. Um, then the exposed plumbing underneath, and this is just leftovers from the construction. I think they should take those boards and kind of fill in the, uh, the gaps that they got there. And of course, there's some storage on the side. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want me to do more videos like this, I can certainly find more places.